Hello and welcome to this new series of vlogs I'm doing on this channel called console.log vlog <laughs> well today I'll be talking about programming and how to get into it and it's just gonna be a vlog to coding development so CSS HTML JavaScript PHP Python all these languages what are really the it's often very intimidating uh, to be faced with this um, task seeing as how there's so many languages so many libraries so many uh, ways of doing things on the web and none of it's really that simple and people are often put off I think by thinking they need to know advanced physics and mathematics and algebra and such to really be able to do anything so there's a lot of barrier to entry in that respect because of um, people fearing that you need to be like sort of maths whiz I suppose but that's not really so much the case and especially these days where a lot of uh, frameworks abstract all that sort of thing away from you you having to do anything with it first steps to just experimenting with it and seeing if it's for you um, I think personally um, you have to figure out what you want to do with the uh, with your programming are you wanting to create mobile web apps are you wanting to create just websites for small businesses are you wanting to create like to get sort of creative coding with small like maybe visualizations and 3d and this sort of thing and more uh, design led or do you want to be doing like machine learning artificial intelligence bot creation this sort of thing and generally speaking if you view it like you're in a tunnel, there's several tunnels or doors in front of you then depending on which door you ultimately want to be getting into should really determine the programming language or technologies you learn I think that's the analogy I'd use so for example for web development you really I think personally speaking you need to really learn the front end stack first so HTML hypertext markup language, CSS can scanning style sheets for presentation, and JavaScript for uh, uh, client side functionality in well server side of course now node but that's another thing entirely. So you want to learn basically that stack I think at first. If you want to specialise in back end engineering uh, probably learn something like PHP I guess and um, uh, I'm not so much familiar with the back end, I'm not really a back end engineer so um, can speak with less for it on that. And there's a plane now here. Hello plane. Also another path obviously people can go down is uh, computer games programming. Now this is a path I've gone down a little bit myself. Um, primarily with Unreal Engine. Experiments on Unity but um, for games programming, if you want to be a games programmer you need to really learn main programming language to learn now C sharp and C++, uh, maybe Lou, but not as many engines use that I don't think, or JavaScript, I mean there's a very active community of people who build uh, games with JavaScript, it's fairly, I mean I'm a member of that community in fact, I had a lot of active time making games on Play Canvas for a while, uh, which is like a cloud based games engine, it's pretty cool, check it out if you can, cloud based games engine, it's pretty cool, check it out if you can. But yeah, essentially what you want to what, what do you want to do? So you wanna uh, I think a good way to approach it is just to uh, come up with a few ideas for projects like uh, like I've been showcasing on this YouTube channel like my favourite films, website, web page. Uh, you just wanna like break it down into steps. You're not gonna learn these things overnight, nobody does. Even like the smartest people in the world have to learn the fundamentals. Programming fundamentals are really like learning the syntax of a language, but also learning the language. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, I don't mean just learning the syntax, I mean learning the peculiarities of the language, learning the best uh, ways to program in that language. So, the sort of best ways of structuring code, the best ways of uh, laying out your functions, for example, best ways of referencing your functions, la la la, methods, etc. And that's really the art of programming, which is a much broader sort of topic, I guess. Uh, 
something I'm learning much more about at the minute. So, I mean, I, so my background is I came from, uh, I did a college course and then I went into university. So I sort of went the conventional route when I was from the age of 17, learning about uh, you know, things like HTML, CSS, of course, but, but JavaScript, even Perl back in the day, but Java programming. Uh, when I was at university, they, they taught us Java because that was like the, the thing at that, in that age, I guess. Uh, so that, but that helped sort of base me in object orientation, orientated programming, and it's really so that sort of gave me a bit of a grounding in object orientated programming concepts. Uh, so a lot of it's really about learning, like I said, to figure out the doors you want to enter and then really just streamline to that thing and keep an open mind of course keep open to different technologies and learning new things you always have to be sort of on your feet in this field uh, like currently at the minute I am trying to really master react like I've used it in a few projects before and a few uh, in a few contexts professionally and just hobby wise uh, but to really master it that's the next goal as well as vanilla JS of course uh, so yeah I guess that's that's probably enough to cover the basics of what I want to do like I said set up projects think of uh, short projects that you can do really quickly for yourself uh, just like maybe list them all down like I'll make a make the film website I'll make a gallery of my photographs some way think of creative ways to represent those things as well and then just do programming is quite simple in the sense that uh, the more you do it the the more you learn about how the more you learn about the wrong and the right ways to do things and also yeah just about the creative process of programming at its core and it's like fundamentally it's a creative process people seem to think it's very logic driven which it is of course there is a lot of logic and you have to think quite logically to actually uh, get to the centre level of like being a really good programmer um, but there's also a creative process as well because it's system building really so system building is a function in my view of building layers of logic I guess anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that it's just the first of my series of vlogs